Roadmap to Become a Python Developer. Hey there, welcome to Codex Dev. Are you ready to kickstart your journey as a Python developer? Whether you're a complete beginner or looking to polish your skills, this roadmap will guide you from scratch to landing your first Python developer job. In this video, I'll explain the most essential technologies you'll need to learn to secure a job in Python development. By the end, I assure you that you'll have a clear and strategic approach to learning Python. Let's dive in. First of all, let's see why Python. Python is everywhere, from web development and data science to artificial intelligence and automation. Its simplicity and powerful libraries make it a favorite among developers. Did you know Python has ranked number one on the TOB index of programming language popularity for several years? And it's not slowing down. Let's look at the on screen statistic. Python is used by top companies like Google, Instagram, Spotify, and NASA. Average salary of a Python developer in the U.S., $112,000 a year. Starting your Python journey doesn't have to break the bank. Here are some top-notch free resources to get you coding in no time. Google's Python class, designed for beginners. This class includes written materials, lecture videos, and exercises. Python.org tutorials. The official Python website offers comprehensive tutorials suitable for all levels. Cubetech's Python course is a beginner-friendly course that covers Python fundamentals and more. FreeCodeCamp.org, comprehensive and beginner-friendly. Solo Learn Python course, a mobile-friendly way to learn Python on the go. Before we move forward, I'd like to take a quick moment to thank all of you who've been supporting this channel. Did you know 90% of our viewers haven't subscribed? If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon. Subscribing helps us grow and continue bringing you valuable content. Now back to the roadmap. Choosing the right Integrated Development Environment, IDE, can make a huge difference. Here are some popular ones for Python development. PyCharm, feature-rich and perfect for large projects. VS Code, lightweight, fast, and highly customizable. Idle, comes bundled with Python, perfect for beginners. Jupyter Notebook, ideal for data analysis and visualization projects. Starting with the basics of Python, or any programming language, is like learning the alphabet before writing a story. These fundamentals, such as variables, data types, and control structures, are the building blocks that allow you to create functional and efficient code. By mastering these core concepts, you develop problem-solving skills that help you break down complex challenges into manageable parts. This approach not only makes debugging easier, but also boosts your confidence as you tackle more advanced topics. A solid understanding of the basics also opens doors to learning other programming languages, as many share similar foundational principles. Ultimately, investing time in learning the basics sets you up for success in the ever-evolving tech industry. For a comprehensive introduction to Python basics, you might find this resource helpful. All right, if you're a complete beginner, the IA best place to start is with the absolute basics of Python. Here's what you should focus on. Variables. Learn how to store data using variables. Data types, strings, integers, lists, dictionaries, and more. Functions. Organize and reuse your code efficiently. Loops. Automate repetitive tasks using four while loops. If else statements, add decision making capabilities to your programs. Mastering these basics will give you a solid foundation for everything else you'll learn. And here's the exciting part I'll be covering all these topics in detail in A, upcoming videos right here on this channel, so make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to stay updated. Here's a detailed guide to becoming a Python developer, step by step. Practice daily. Practice makes perfect. Dedicate time every day to solving coding challenges on platforms like LeetCode, HackerRank, or Code Wars. Start with beginner-level problems and gradually increase the difficulty. These platforms also improve your problem-solving skills, which are critical in coding interviews. Explore libraries and frameworks. Once you're comfortable with the basics, dive into Python libraries and frameworks that suit your interests. 
for web development, learn Flask, lightweight, or Django, full featured. For data science, explore NumPy, Pandas, and Matplotlib. For automation, learn Selenium or Beautiful Soup. Experiment with these tools by creating small projects, such as building a basic web application or automating repetitive tasks. Build projects. Once you've mastered the basics, the best way to learn is by building projects. Here are 10 beginner-friendly projects you can start with. 1. Calculator. Concept. Perform basic arithmetic operations. Objective. Learn functions, user input, and conditional logic. Skills gained. Input handling, functions, and control structures. 2. Guess the number game. Concept. Generate a random number and the user guesses it. Objective, understand loops, conditionals, and random number generation. 3. To-do list app. Concept, add, delete, and view tasks. Objective, practice lists and functions. 4. Personal expense tracker. Concept, track expenses and calculate total spending. Objective, practice data storage and basic calculations. 5. Password Generator. Concept. Generate secure passwords based on user requirements. Objective. Learn about strings and random libraries. 6. Weather App. Using APIs. Concept. Fetch real-time weather data using APIs. Objective. Learn about APIs, JSON handling, and HTTP requests. 7. File Organizer. Concept. Organize files by type or date. Objective. Learn file handling and automation. 8. Quiz app. Concept. Create a quiz with questions and score tracking. Objective. Practice logic, loops, and user interaction. 9. Unit converter. Concept. Convert units like kilometers to miles or Celsius to Fahrenheit. Objective. Use functions and input-output formatting. 10. Basic blog. With Flask, Concept, post articles on a simple web app. Objective, learn the basics of Flask for web development. Each project reinforces different aspects of Python and builds your confidence step by step. Plus, they make your portfolio stand out to potential employers. And you can do all above projects with me in this channel if you want to become Python developer. Let me know in the comments below. Engaging with developer communities on platforms like GitHub, Reddit, and Stack Overflow can significantly enhance your programming journey. Here's how. 1. Connect with fellow developers. Joining these communities allows you to interact with a diverse group of developers. You can participate in discussions, ask questions, and share your progress, which fosters a sense of belonging and collaboration. 2. Contribute to open source projects. By contributing to open source projects, you can improve your coding skills, gain real-world experience, and receive recognition from peers. This collaborative effort not only enhances the software, but also demonstrates your ability to work effectively with others. 3. Showcase your work regularly updating your GitHub profile with your projects and code contributions serves as a portfolio of your work. It reflects your growth as a developer and can attract potential employers or collaborators. Engaging in. These activities can lead to increased visibility in the development community, strengthened coding skills, and improved job prospects. Remember, the more you collaborate and share, the more you learn and grow as a developer. Python's importance in tech is undeniable. Python is a game changer in the tech world. It powers everything from AI-driven applications to web servers. In fact, Python is a must-have skill for data scientists, machine learning engineers, and software developers. It's a skill that employers across the globe are looking for, making it a must-have for aspiring developers. Let's look at the on-screen statistic, market demand. Python developer jobs have grown by 29% annually over the last five years. Adoption by companies used by 8 out of 10 top tech companies globally. Community strength. 
Over 10 million active developers use Python worldwide. Versatility. Python supports over 137,000 libraries for various domains, from AI to web development. Python's versatility and robust community support have solidified its position as a cornerstone in the tech industry, driving innovation and shaping the future of technology. How long does it take to become proficient in Python? While it varies per individual, here's a general guideline. Three to six months. Dedicated learning and practice can prepare you for entry-level positions. Six to 12 months, gaining deeper understanding and experience with projects and frameworks. Plus months, achieving advanced proficiency, ready for more complex roles. Embarking on the journey to become a Python developer is both exciting and rewarding. By following this roadmap, mastering the basics, Practicing daily, exploring libraries and frameworks, building projects, and engaging with the community, you'll be well on your way to a successful career in Python development. Remember, consistency is key. Dedicate time each day to learning and coding. The tech industry is ever-evolving, and Python's versatility keeps it at the forefront of innovation. Stay curious. Keep building and don't hesitate to seek help from the community when needed. Remember, becoming a Python developer is a marathon, not a sprint. Stay consistent, keep coding, and don't hesitate to seek help from the community. Your journey starts today. If you found this roadmap helpful, give this video a thumbs up. Share it with fellow aspiring developers and let us know in the comments which Python project you're excited to start. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with more guides and tutorials. Happy coding!